you are all on mute and we are not seeing any videos of the attendees tonight. So, but we do want to encourage questions. So if you have questions, please put them in the chat and the Wesley team will be glad to answer them um, either as they go along or at the end of the presentation. So please send any questions um, our way in the chat. We could go to the next slide. I want to call your attention to the whole series of webinars that we're doing with Delaware Student Success. Um, we started them a little bit earlier this month, but as I said, they're all being recorded and will all be on DelawareStudentSuccess.org. Um, we did everything from how to, how to pick your interests in a possible career area to a basic college admissions webinar on what colleges are looking for, what are the parts of an application, and then all of our Delaware colleges and universities are doing their own separate webinar with us. And um, we've heard from Delaware Tech and University of Delaware and Delaware State and Goldie Beacom so far. So tonight is Wesley. And then next week is Delaware College of Art and Design and Wilmington University. So it's a really great way to learn about all of our amazing in-state um, opportunities. We're also um, presenting information for those who might be considering the military. I've lined up um, many different branches to share their career and educational opportunities. Um, we have sessions on uh, apprenticeships, if you're interested in that, and industry certifications. Um, also, in terms of work or getting um, internships or job opportunities, how to write a resume, interview, and cover letter. So all of these things are available. They're all topics that would be helpful when you're trying to plan what you're going to do after high school. Next slide. I think I forgot to introduce myself, actually. My name is Karen Keegan, and I'm from the Delaware Department of Education. And on this call with me is my colleague from the Institute for Public Administration, Chris Kelly, um, from the University of Delaware. So I just want to give a shout out to him for running the webinar. Another program that we just launched is um, our Delaware Student Success Texting Program. Um, in order to sign up, you just have to text the word success to 302-492-2092. And we, we being me and Chris and um, a couple of our colleagues from the University of Delaware will text you things to think about, next steps that you might wanna take in preparing for your life after high school. And um, we'll text you reminders on the webinars that are coming up. And you can also text us questions. If you have questions about you know, an application or the FAFSA completion or next steps in whatever it is you wanna do, you're welcome to text back with questions and we'll help you out. So with that information, I wanna turn it over to the Wesley team and they will share information on their school and their opportunities. So thank you again. Good evening, folks. I'm Nelson Davis. I'm the director of admissions here at Wesley College. And, and Greetings to all that are out there with us tonight. Um, uh, to my right, your left is my distinguished colleague, Chris Jester, uh, 15, 16 year veteran of uh, the admissions business and a graduate of Wesley College, both as a, with his bachelor's and master's degree. So he's a great source of information uh, at not only tonight, but as you move through the program. Um, couple of things that I wanted to say before I step off camera and turn it over to the folks that are going to be most helpful to you guys uh, as Delawareans. But the, the elephant in the room, I guess, to say is, is this acquisition or this partnership that is going to take place officially and formally July 1 of 2021 with Delaware State University. Uh, Chris and I, I think this, this today and Tanika, who will be on camera shortly, probably spent a total of seven to eight hours with our colleagues at Delaware State trying to work through a lot of the specifics. But, but the thing that we are so excited about is the, the increased opportunity that this partnership is gonna provide students of, of Delaware and, and the greater region. So uh, uh, look forward to, to, to the, the, the hottest news coming off the press. And as soon as that's available to us, we will be pushing it out to you. But uh, we certainly are excited for your interest in, in Wesley College and the experience that we have to offer here in Dover and, and look forward to having you on campus for a visit here real soon. Um, Chris, what would you like to add? Um, Nelson, you said a whole lot. Uh, and, and it's good, it's good. No, I it kind of covered, covered most of that. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the, we've been working with, um, with Delaware State University as, as part of this acquisition since the summer 
in sort of bits and pieces. So, so you know, we're 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 we're, 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 we're moving closer to being able to provide you know a lot more information uh, to 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 not only you know folks who are watching us on the call today, but but also to to everybody. Um, you know, uh, one thing that that we're we're excited about uh, with regards to um, to to the acquisition is that we're going to see a pretty substantial what would you call that a, a, a reduction. reduction is probably a good word intuition um uh att attending um you know, start, starting the fall 2021 um once you know the, the acquisition is complete uh we're, we're, we're looking at being you know going going from from say tuition number about twenty seven thousand uh, all the way down to a number for Delaware students uh, of, of a little over nine thousand. Yeah. Uh, with regards to that, so, one third, um, one third yes. of the cost. So 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 we're really excited about that. Um, you know, we're still working through some of the specifics on that and that kind of thing, and 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 we'll try to answer as many questions as we as we can um, about this uh, as we kind of go through this process. And also, uh, we host virtual events every Wednesday. Um, Right on our, own, on our own Zoom, on our own website, and so we'll, you know, we'll be talking about it there as well, uh, and 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 we'll talk about that. Talk about some of the academic uh, opportunities that we're going to see increases um, based based on what Delaware State University is going to be offering uh, on our campus and what what we would offer on their campus. And things like that. Thanks, Chris. And, and I guess what what I'd like to say, because because there's a lot of specifics we want to share with you about Wesley College tonight. Certainly the acquisition and this partnership is on everybody's mind. But the bigger part of this evening is, is uh, uh, our hope that we can share with you what we have to offer here at Wesley College uh, currently. And the two folks that are gonna do that are Tanika Cook and Joy Gordy Stith. Uh, Tanika works in Newcastle County. So anybody in Newcastle would, would see Tanika either at the high school or virtually. We'll hear from her over the phone and email and text messaging. And then our friends down in Kent and Sussex County will be uh, serviced by uh, Joy Gordy Stiff. So I'd like to ask those two to, to come on, on frame and let them put you through uh, uh, the presentation. But thanks again for being with us. We appreciate you. See you guys. Well, hello everybody. Uh, like, <laughs> like Nelson said, my name is Joy Gordy Stiff. And I'm Tamika Cook. And so we're going to be going uh, over the presentation about Wesley College. We're really excited to share about us, our hidden gem. <laughs> Chris? Chris is going to share I'm, the screen. I'm working the tech off screen. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so he's going to share the screen. We have a little slide presentation. Very high tech. There we go. <laughs> I learned how to do this. Sorry. So we have a little commercial. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. We got a little bit of a glitch here, but I think I can fix. Fill time while you do this, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. Go ahead. No. <laughs> Sorry, it, it's. So, just to kind of reiterate. Yes, uh, go ahead. Do <laughs> um, I serve uh, Kenton, Sussex County. Um, so, I have a couple different. Um, well, we both, we all have some. And our contact information um, will be in the presentation later. So um, you can grab that and then reach out to us, like Tanika said, private Zooms, FaceTimes, texts, calls. We're very accessible and we would love to talk to you. So. <laughs> we're, we're ready to go. Okay, all right, so. Technical difficulties, blame the, blame the share. It didn't, mm -hmm. didn't go like it was supposed to, but now it will. You know that feeling you get when you see someone do something great and you think, why not me? Why not you? The road to achievement begins within you. If you think you can be great, 
you will be. You just need professors who believe in you. Unique experiences that help you grow. To understand different perspectives. Friends and teammates who rally around you. Opportunities that truly move you. Somewhere you can stand out, but feel at home. Here, great things don't happen to just a select few. They come to those who choose wisely and push themselves to succeed. This is a place where your future begins. This is where you become a Wolverine. Wesley College, great things await. Change to the actual presentation. Yeah. We appreciate your patience with us. Apologies, <laughs> links were weird. It's fixed now. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So, a little bit about Wesley College. Um, Wesley College is a small school with big opportunities. Um, if you are, if you've looked at small schools, you kind of understand that that's one of the things that really attracts you to small schools is that personal touch. And I always say that Wesley is exactly what you want a small school to be. It has that intimacy of a small school environment, but it also has the opportunities of larger state schools. Um, we are located in the middle of Dover, Delaware. Uh, we have about 1,200 undergraduate, undergraduate and graduate students. <clears throat> um, some of those bigger opportunities, and we'll get into them later, uh, students can take on undergraduate research opportunities as early as uh, their freshman year in a lot of cases. So you also want professors who know your name and care about your growth. Uh, you are more than just a number and there will never be a class where you show up at the end of the semester and you go to ask a question and the teacher doesn't recognize you. That's not Wesley. At Wesley, you are a name and you are a person and they, they care about you. And so um, I'm actually an alumni here, and so I can attest to that. So when I went here, I had professors who come up to me and say, Joy, no, I'm, I know you've, you're really interested in this. Have you, you know, thought about taking this class, or have you heard about this internship? And that's not just a me story, that's an everybody who goes to Wesley story. Um, you will not find a more dedicated faculty and staff anywhere else. Um, all time full all full-time students entering Wesley are assigned an academic advisor to kind of assist in the uh, transition into college because that can be overwhelming and that's not necessarily taught in any classes. And so we want to make sure that you're set up for success. Um, professional staff, graduate assistants, and peer tutors are available to assist students by appointment or on a drop-in basis. We have our ARC, which is our Academic Resource Center, and they are the most dedicated group of faculty that are truly dedicated to our student success and they really care about them. Um, our campus is not huge. We have about 50 acres of main campus with 20 buildings and, um, and facilities. And we do have some off-campus facilities. We'll go into that later. Our nursing building, Johnston Hall is off campus. Um, and you wanna be someone. And so, you know, internships, operative education, undergraduate research programs, professional practicums, they're all a really important and integral part of many of our academic programs here. And one of the great things is that, you know, Wesley will encourage and cultivate leadership skills and opportunities, so. We're gonna talk a little bit about our academic programs. Wesley currently offers over 30 academic programs, including minors. We offer a liberal arts education. The idea undergraduate curriculum will prepare you for the world and where people change jobs, change careers, and nothing stops you from changing what you need to do. You will learn all the, all the life skills that you need here. That's what Wesley curriculum is designed to do. It's covering all those demands, demanding skills that employers seek out for you know, new, new and up and coming rising employees. The faculty here never ceases to care about you 
and we have some of the top some of the top programs, which we'll go into to let you know what our top programs are. So um, one of our top programs is nursing. So we offer a four year BSN program. Um, your clinical work in the hospitals begin second semester of freshman year. And one of the really cool things about being centrally located in Delaware is there are several different hospitals um, that you can potentially go to. So we have, you know, Christiana Hospital up in Wilmington, AI Nemours up in Wilmington, um, Bay Health here in Dover. Um, so there's a lot of different opportunities there. And again, you're getting in the hospital freshman year, which I think is really important. We also have the highest NCLEX passing rate in the state, 96% <laughs> for the past two years. And just to remind you, NCLEX is the test that you have to take to become a nurse. So that's your certification. We have a state-of-the-art facility that is Johnston Hall, and that is one of our off-campus facilities. There is a shuttle that we provide that takes you to and from campus in Johnston Hall that runs daily and throughout the day. It is a rigorous program, so our requirements are a 2.5 GPA, an SAT of 1,000, and an ACT of 19. You have to take the TEAS test either the summer before your freshman year or during your first semester. You have to pass with proficiency or higher, and you will be completely accepted into the program. If you meet the basic requirements, um, then you'll be conditionally accepted. If you don't meet the requirements, you'll come in as undeclared. And if you maintain a 2.5 GPA during your first semester and you take and pass the T's, then you can talk to the nursing program about getting in. So our second top program is STEM, and that includes biology, biochem, environmental sciences, and mathematics. So we are um, part of a consortium with DSU and UD, along with um, the national government research organizations which provide published research opportunities, again, as early as freshman year. And that's kind of going back to, this is, this is a big thing at Wesley. We really are into getting you into the real world situations as early as possible. Um, and you know, if you're a major in a STEM field, you're going to go to graduate school at some point and they will ask you for your research examples as part of the application. And so we provide you with those research opportunities. And some of that research could also potentially help you pay for grad school. Um, we had a student who conducted an EPA and uh, SNRAC wind erosion study, and that was used to gain entrance and scholarship to pay for his uh, PhD program. So again, this is another pretty uh, rigorous program. Our requirements are a 3.0 GPA, a 1,000 SAT with a 500 in math, and an ACT of 19. And if you don't meet the requirements, again, you'll come in as an undeclared STEM um, until you meet the requirements. So the third top program is education, and that includes PE, K through 12, and elementary education. We also offer elementary education and special education dual certification, which is a wonderful program. Having a dual certification can provide you with a more marketability for schools. Schools are providing more inclusion classes, and also the skills that you learn in special education courses can be useful in any classes. One of the really cool things that Wesley has is we have a charter elementary school that comes to campus and um, you can see the methods that you're learning taught in real life and you can kind of get in that classroom and start student teaching. Uh, we also have our secondary education program, which is a four plus one um, master's program. And so students, you would major in English, mathematics, biology, music, or social studies and then you would minor in education. You receive a four-year bachelor's degree, and then you spend your fifth year student teaching, and you walk away with two degrees in five years. And the program is all laid out for you, so you don't need to worry about meeting the requirements. Another top program is kinesiology, and that includes exercise science, sports management, pre-physical therapy, and pre-occupation therapy. So we also, um, our Masters of Occupational Therapy, we are the only school in the state that offers it. And Ms. Tanika Cook over here is, <laughs> is the counselor that's in charge of that. So eventually, if you're gonna go on to that, she's the one that you wanna to talk to and get past. Thanks, Jerry. <laughs> so pre-physical uh, therapy and pre-occupational therapy are definitely the toughest um, and strict, strict requirements. Uh, GPA of 3.0, SAT of 1,000 with a 350 in math, ACT 19, and we're really looking for strong math and science courses. 
Um, and if you don't meet their requirements right away, you go into exercise science. So the last one we're going to talk about is business administration. And that includes concentrations in marketing, uh, management, international business, and economics. And one of the great things about being so centrally located in Dover, Delaware, is we are the capital of the city, of the state. And so we have a lot of different opportunities, internship opportunities, um, that can really help you networking, not only during your time here, but as you go out into the world and start your career. Um, that's, and I mean, that, that's true about business administration, but that's really true about all majors here. And you know, that's one of the great things about Boston. We're going to talk about student life on campus. Everyone leaves home and wants to go out and have fun. <laughs> and, you know, we get it, but you also have to focus on your, your studies. But Wesley offers 50 plus student clubs and organizations, including but not limited to Greek life. We have African student organizations, legal societies, NAMIs on campus, Sai Chai National Honor Societies, STEP teams, Speed, Sustainable, Wesley, and more. If we don't have an organization you want, you can create it. You need five other students and a faculty to sign off to create your own student-led group. When Joy attended Wesley, she created an acapella group that sang in downtown Dover events, mm -hmm. statewide galas, campus events held at the president's house, and more. She has a pretty good voice, but don't tell I said that. <laughs> we, offer, we also offer student activity boards and student government work tirelessly to bring fun to the campus. We watch outdoor movies at the amphitheater, paint in the college center, play dodgeball in the gym. We have poetry night, open mic night, cookouts, fashion shows. They also arrange nonstop on-campus events and trips to places like New York City and Six Flags. New York City is my city because that's where I'm from. So <laughs> I can take you on personal tour myself. <laughs> They'll bring you in a zip line, a, com a comedian, laser tag tent, anything that gets students together having fun. And it always works because <laughs> you want to unwind when you have these rigorous courses. So, you know, it's always good to have a little fun while you're on campus. Yes. So student life off campus. I know that Delaware usually gets a bad rap for being a little boring. However, we are the hidden gem and we have a lot of fun things to do both on and off campus. Um, so one of the things that I personally love is we are only 45 minutes away from the Delaware beaches. So if you're from Delaware, you know, um, I'm a Cape Henlopen person myself, but Rehoboth is pretty fun too and dewy. We also have kayaking on Silver Lake hiking, paddle boarding, or camping at Killens Pond State Park, that's just 20 minutes down the road. Starbucks is right up the road, um, you know, you're on 13, you have a bunch of stuff, you have Marshalls, and teaching Max, and um, we also have Dover Downs, so you can go out to eat at Dover Downs, not on anything else. And then downtown Dover always puts on a lot of fun, fun events, like they do Christmas tree lighting, and um, a lot of just, you know, fun stuff. And then uh, a few things that students love about Dover are the beautiful running routes, the fun downtown, and the restaurants. Half price apps at McLean's Pub on Mondays. And you know, you're from Delaware, so you know we are close to big cities um, like Philly and Baltimore. And freshmen are able to bring their cars on campus. Parking pass is just fifty dollars for the year, and so um, you know, you can you're not stuck here. <laughs> you can go out and explore all the Delaware has to offer. We're going to get into athletics now. We are the NCAA, we, we participate in NCAA Division III athletics. We have 18 NCAA Division III team sports, which means no sports scholarships. Unfortunately, we offer academic scholarships, but no sports scholarships. Every sports except football is part of the Atlantic East Conference. Football is in the New Jersey Atlantic Conference. Coaches care about their students on and off the field. Some coaches will have mandatory study halls if a student is falling behind in class. The professors and coaches are all agreed education comes first. Many of our students, many, many of our student athletes are also peer tutors in our free tutoring center. So if you, you have any problems, you can always go to the student success counselor and she will always set you up with a tutor that will help you with your grades and provide study hall for you. And tutoring is free. And tutoring is free. 
So meet your counselors again. <laughs> this is <laughs> so this is our information. So like you said, or like we said earlier, call, text, FaceTime. Um, we do have office hours. I got a call at an insanely late hour. So five or eight to five. <laughs> you can always text us. <laughs> So the application process, we try to make it as easy for you guys as possible. We know that you're gonna be doing a lot of these and this can be a very overwhelming process. Um, that's why we are here for you. So once you fill out an application, we uh, do need two things. We require your high school transcript and your SAT or your ACT scores. Whichever, whichever test you took, we'll take that score. Um, letters of recommendation and personal essays are optional. We will definitely read them if you send them to us. So we always like, like hearing about you guys. Um, so we will need the official information sent to us. Transcripts need to be sent either directly from the school or via parchment. And the SAT and ACTs need to be sent from College Board. However, uh, we do use unofficial uh, screenshots for both of, um, of both for admissions decisions while we wait for the official copies to get to us. So you can always just screenshot a picture of your transcript and send it to us. And we can use that um, to make a decision while we're waiting for your official copy to come. Um, so the screenshots of the SAT and ACT must include your name, the date you took the test, and a breakdown of the score. So what you've got in both math and um, evidence-based reading and writing. <laughs> so our SAT school code is um, 5894. And if you have any questions about any of that, please feel free to contact us. We are, we are here for you guys. Um, so. Could I, could I throw something at y'all off the screen? So with COVID, we've had issues with students not being able to take tests and, mm -hmm. and those kinds of things. How are we operating with regards to, to, to COVID testing and, and, and that sort of thing with regards to, to students who've either taken the test or would not able to take a test or, or are, we're, we're working with them. Explain kind of how we're working with people with, within that. Um, well, I, I think you said it there. We're working with it by case by case basis. Okay. And so um, we absolutely understand that these are unprecedented times. Great word. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and so. so, you know, if you haven't been able to let us know, talk to us, we'll start that conversation and then um, see yeah, where it takes it. Yeah. 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 And yeah. one thing about the SAT score is we do super score. So if you have more than one score, we will look at both scores. You will take the higher of the math score and the higher of the English score to um, super score you as you know, they yeah. call it. Yeah. So don't get discouraged if you scored low in math mm -hmm. one time and then the next time you scored high, we will take the higher of the two. Yeah. 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 FAFSA. <laughs> one of the most important parts of your college process yes. is the FAFSA, <laughs> which is your financial aid. You need to file your free application for federal student aid. That is the only way you will be awarded any type of financial assistance towards your college education, whether it's Pell, whether it's loans, unsubsidized, subsidized, parent plus, private loans. You have to fill out a FAFSA in order for anything to be processed. This I can't stress this enough because a lot of students forget about it. And then they're like, oh, I'm coming to school, but you have to find a way to pay for school. So you want to make sure that is one of the first steps you take is to fill out your FAFSA. You're allowed to add 10 schools to your FAFSA. Make sure Wesley is one of them. <laughs> you still have to um, file your FAFSA. We have our, our FAFSA school code is 001433. If you don't remember the school code, you can always look it up on the FAFSA West website. Just type in Wesley College and it'll pop up and just click on it and it's going to say Dover, Delaware. And that's the only way our financial aid office will get your information and be able to put together a financial aid packet for you to be able to pay for school. So just please make sure if you need any assistance with it, you can always reach out to us or we can put you in touch with the financial aid department. You can help your parents walk through it. Make sure you use the IRS data retrieval tool that makes it so much simpler because it just pulls all of the parents information from the IRS. Don't get afraid about the IRS. They're just pulling <laughs> your information for your financial tag. And a lot of people hear IRS and they get, they start to panic, but that's not what it's about. It's about making sure you have, you get all the funds that you're eligible for 
from the student, from the government. And, and guys, can they submit their FAFSA before they apply? Yes, you can. Yeah. You can submit your FAFSA before you apply. Just make sure you put the Wesley School code. And then once you apply to Wesley and we have a physical application for you, then our financial aid office is allowed to pull your, your, your FAFSA and put a war packet together for you. Once, once, it once, they, once you've been accepted. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Sorry, I, I thought it was in here. I wanted to make sure that they did that. So. so this is just more contact information. This is our financial aid contact information. Um, we have wonderful people working with us. And they really, again, they care about our students. And I have, there are um, financial aid helpers there that helped me through the process. So they really, they make it less complicated and less scary while you're going through it. Because it, it can be very overwhelming. So. So uh, Nelson and Chris talked about this earlier, um, but just kind of want to reiterate that uh, we are set to join forces no later than July 1st, 2021. And so again, as we get more information, we really want to make this as open as possible for you all. And um, you, I think, have been in more conversations than I have, but I, from what I've heard, they, we really are really dedicated to making sure that it, this is the best possible situation for the students, for you all. So, break things away to Wesley College. <laughs> uh, Thank you all for coming. So, um, I see Karen. Karen just popped back up. Back. I am see any questions in the chat so um i don't know if you do you guys have anything else you want to share or are you have anything um no i i i i think we've i think one one thing we want to on the voice from beyond so apologies guys um uh, one thing we want and we've we've already said it but one thing we want to reiterate uh, as far as the application process goes, because it can be scary. Mm -hmm. it's, we look at everybody one student as, at yes, a time. You know, we are we are we are not looking to compare people. Mm -hmm. You know, send us whatever you have. We'll look at it. Apply early so that we can work through things we can. Um, there are a lot of times where we, as accounting staff, will get information, come to each other, and say, "What do you think about this? How do we sort of make that work?" So I think that 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 it's important for for folks. Uh, on the call now and also those who are going to be watching the recording know uh, that we are here to help you. We are not scary people that much, I would think, right? Um, and, so, and so I think, speak for yourself, right? Now. But, uh, you know, but it's, it's, so I think it's important uh, for, for folks to know uh, that, that and, and you guys have already said it, but it's it, it, it worth repeating uh, that, that we're here to help. We're not here to make you jump through 60 hoops to get stuff done. Seamless is a great word. We've already used it once. So uh, that's all I have. Okay, well, thank you to everyone at Wesley for taking the time to um, present with us tonight. Um, you shared some great information on your college. Um, and thanks to everyone for watching the, the record the video and it will be available on our Delaware student success.org um, website in a couple of days. Um, so thank you everyone for your time tonight and we look forward to seeing you at future um, events and webinars. So stay safe and thank you. Good night. Good night. Thanks, Good night. Yeah.